Hello and welcome to your number one resource for cheapskates everywhere and those who believe in conscious, frugal living. This is the Cheapskate Channel and I am the one that will show you the way to a better and more quality life through having the things that you want without spending your last dime to get them. Today we're going to do something very interesting but it could be quite lucrative. It's going to require a vehicle and it's going to be a little dirty to do but it could be quite rewarding. And that's called curbside and outback bargains. Yes, you're going to be riding around in your car looking for curbside and outback things to use and to sell. Some people call the Outback Bargains dumpster diving. But trust me, you'd be surprised at the places that throw away things that could be sold and could be used. I will just show you exactly where you need to do this, where it's safe and legal to do this, and also the most profitable times and areas in which to do this. As you know, lots of people, this is a consumer society and it's a throwaway society and people throw away good things for different reasons sometimes if for nothing else just to get the newest style and since this is now the advent of curbside trash pickup lots of people put very nice things out front for the weekly trash collection guy to come get and I'll give you an example of Atlanta because, hey, that's the place I've been around the most. And that's where I've done this before. And I've gone in my vehicle. The pickup truck is nice, but I've done it in my vehicle. And I found many, many, many things that I used to sell on eBay there. I used to be in eBay back in the early days. And I got a lot of my eBay inventory by cruising the affluent neighborhoods late night on garbage day the next morning and finding different things. I found instruments. I found computers. I found, uh, uh, oh my gosh, all types of uh, furniture items. I had a pickup truck so that helped me out a whole lot. But I found many things which I took and sold on eBay and that I sold on Craigslist and it was uh, lots of merchandise that I didn't spend a dime for. The only thing I spent money for was gasoline and a cup of coffee as I was riding around. And uh, you know, you need some gloves. It helps to have some boots to do this type of thing. And it helps to know the local laws also because in some states, well it's alright to do curbside scavenging and stuff like that. But in some areas it's illegal to dumpster dive for some reason. But generally, the law states that anything you put out front on the curb is not yours anymore. It's for whoever wants to come by and get it. And people who are moving generally place a lot of stuff at the corner. People put couches out. People put uh, furniture out. People put televisions out there. Of course, if they put stuff like that out, make sure it hasn't been raining because it'll ruin it. But you can find very good things out there. You know, and if you're doing it at night, take a good flashlight. Just go, go through the stuff. If you find a box full of stuff, don't go through it on the line. Put the box in the back of your car, in the back of your truck, and go, go someplace else and do it. Because remember, lots of neighborhoods, especially the affluent ones, have neighborhood watch. Or they might even have rental cops. If they have rental cops, get to know the rental cop, and they'll be looking out for you. If they know you are, are, are on the up and up, they'll be fine. You know, but if they think you're up to no good, you could uh, end up in a bad way. But go around and take a look at that. Now, dumpster diving, that's a whole different animal. You're going to go to commercial areas to do that. And some of my favorite places to go, well, unfortunately, they're going out. They've gone out of business. I used to like to go to Radio Shack stores to get my electronics. They used to toss out electronics, which were missing maybe the box or maybe the instructions or stuff like that and also now these other computer game stores I got a very very nice collection of game player magazines which I sold on Amazon as a bookseller 
and these magazines cost quite a bit of money and uh, I was able to sell it on there sometimes you can get computer games where they've lost the instructions and you get the CDs and stuff in it or game cartridges all of this stuff can be sold for money or it can be used at home if you have kids and you come across a big box full of game cartridges and stuff or even sometimes a game console then you can take that clean that stuff off take it home and the kids and you can have a party or you can sell that stuff on eBay Craigslist back page or wherever and make money and it's all just for the cost of gasoline and whatever snacks you like to eat while you're riding around checking out this stuff shopping centers are normally best for that now some people go to shopping centers to the grocery stores and a lot of people like to dumpster dive for food I don't necessarily like to do that I go for the hard merchandise the electronics and stuff you know I'll spend money on food because I know how to acquire good quality food without going in the trash can for it but some people do do it I don't but some people do but anyway these two matters are a way of being a clandestine late night shopper and it can be quite rewarding it can be a little dirty from time to time but a lot of people who have these second-hand stores go out and do curbside trolling in rich neighborhoods every night it would help if you were to go to your municipality or your county or where, what have you and pick up the list of trash pickup days so that you can target that particular area when they have trash pickups if you live in a rural area they have what's called a convenience center where everybody takes their trash to one central location and they have dumpsters there electronics they have you know all different type of dumpsters for each classification of stuff that people throw out because they go recycle it go take a look any electronics bin and any other bin you feel as though you can find something in there to make use of if you repair lawnmowers lots of people go and toss their lawnmowers in there if you know how to repair motors get it out you got spare parts and possibly a spare lawnmower motor in there weed whackers they're easy to repair get those out of there too make money be creative everything that you use and everything that you sell does not have to be brand new use your head be creative be cheap be frugal this is what this is about keeping your money in your pocket and possibly putting some more money in there to go with it don't give all your money away you give all your money away you get give away all your power and your resources you might really need that money for something very important instead of buying a bunch of junk you need to go out and find stuff you can use and rehab to use for your personal life anyway I hope this information has been helpful to you if it has been please like and share this video and of course you know I have a unique way of sharing videos please go to the top of your web page and highlight the HTTP colon double slash for for it in the YouTube you uh, web page location highlight it copy it and paste it to your Facebook Instagram and any other social media that you happen to be using at the time and share it and say hey you can go get free stuff late night and send them back to me and I will tell them all about it if you have this information and the weather's good you can go out and hop in your car tonight and go find some stuff just make sure that you have uh, a flashlight and something to reach down and pull the stuff out with and you know possibly get some tarps to put the stuff in your car sometimes it gets a little dirty but everything cleans up real nice it's worth having don't bring home a bunch of junk just bring home the good stuff anyway hopefully this has been helpful to you please like and share and stay tuned for future episodes on how to get a quality of life and having that life frugally and cheaply. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time.